I had done nothing be beyond with you. Like So I wanna talk really quick about the way that you were raised and what your yeah. parents talked to you about. Yeah. Like what could they have done differently that would have prepared you better, but still been appropriate so that you're not like... Honestly, I think I just, from the two experiences that I had, I was just terrified. Right. Like, it wasn't their fault. It wasn't like they didn't prepare me. It was just like, I think that they kind of prepared me for the worst. But but then in their sexual life like, I, and i really don't want to get into anything like that but all i'm saying is like they were very very private right. they were not like which is appropriate she wouldn't like sit on his lap and kiss him or anything like there was like they would <laughs> anytime my parents got even remotely close to doing something physical my mom would slap his hand and say john uh, the kids are around <laughs> And that was just very typical. So like, and I never like accidentally walked in on them or anything like that just didn't happen. Right. So I, my experiences were very limited. And then in the media, like if I saw a movie, I would say, oh, you know, that's a bad movie if it has a sexual scene in it. Like, and I'm going to close my eyes or I'm going to fast forward it or I'm going to turn it off. Like right. that was my mindset all the time. But see, there's, there's a fine line between sticking to your values and being moral and mm -hmm. and having chastity but then there's also a level of you need to be educated i needed to be a little bit more prepared, and prepared probably because you also don't want to go in blind thinking having absolutely no idea what you're getting into yeah. and then being traumatized because think, you were not prepared and i think that the only previous experiences that i had had right. were traumatizing so so what can I, so i after our honeymoon i was kind of traumatized not on per like it was no one's fault it was seriously no one's fault it was just because of my previous experiences and, and for the record lack did, of experiences i didn't do anything on our honeymoon that would no make no you no uncomfortable. no actually that's another really good point like the whole time he was like whatever you feel comfortable with Whatever is comfortable to you, I'm not going to do anything that you don't like. And he was complete gentleman, gentleman. in that way. Yep. He really was. Like, <laughs> and there was nothing. That, the, I guess the sad part about all of this is that uh, there was nothing that he did that was bad. There was nothing that he did wrong. There was nothing that should have traumatized me <laughs> you know like <sighs> i don't know it, it was everything was perfect everything was natural everything was good but it was my mind that just could not switch from being like this is bad to this is okay right. that instantly like right. And it literally has taken us 10 years and we have made progress. Like <laughs> we're at a point where we're, I'm comfortable. Like, and honestly, the first at least year of our marriage, I was not, it was out of, it was so far out of my comfort we zone. We never even talked about it. it was no. Like something we didn't, we, we did it, but we didn't talk about well, it. Well, and I think that <laughs> he had and certain you expectations. You couldn't even use the word sex. No, I would just you say, would make, say out. make out. That was your code word because yeah. you were too uncomfortable even I, saying. I was like, it's almost like a bad word. Like right. I was almost raised saying, that's a bad word. Don't say that. So I, it felt so uncomfortable or like body terminology even. I couldn't even say the name of <laughs> body parts. Like that's how sheltered, I guess. But I, and I don't ever want to look at my parents and say, oh, you did it wrong. Like you right. raised me wrong. Because it wasn't their fault that those things happened to me, you know? Mm -hmm. And with the information that they were given from what did happen, what did happen to me, they did their very best to help me through those things and like make sure that I had enough information to defend myself or to not let that happen again. Right. But I think that unintentionally, it gave me too much of a lack of information. And the only information I had was 
this is this is bad or this is like I wasn't ever told <laughs> things like really getting into detail or I don't know I, I just never was told what was okay or how you could maybe feel the spirit of God like well doing something like that like you're creating it's really to create humans you know like you're creating life I think and it was a just such a thing. taboo subject unless you asked about it. And every parent does this differently. Every parent's going to have to face talking talk. about these things, right. right? But like they did the best that they knew how. And I know that it was good, like the way they did it. So I don't know. I just, uh, yeah. hard to talk about. 